Hello, folks. I am John Najarian with the CEO and chairman of American Battery Tech, Doug Cole. Doug, the last time we sat and talked uh, was also at a Wall Street conference, yeah, that's... but it was down at Mar Lago, and uh, at that time it was American Battery and Lithium (ABML). It was it American Battery Metals Corporation? Oh, okay. And we've switched it now to American Battery Technology Company because that's what we are. Yeah. So it's all it's good. truly a tech company. Yes. And. For those of you who are hearing this for the first time, these guys not only um, are part of the lithium food chain that feeds into any of these uh, Tesla, GM, Ford, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, anybody who's making a lithium battery, but also in the recycling biz, and that's the really exciting part of what American Battery Tech is all yeah, about. Yeah, recycling is the, is the biggest mine in the world. <laughs> and it's already it's already out there, so that's where we should get all these minerals from. Yeah. And that's what that's how the U.S. government is actually going to be able to play in this business going forward. Because I think I think you heard earlier, only one percent of all lithium in the United States comes from the United States. That's used in the United States. It comes from the United States. Everything else comes from foreign countries. Right. And we've got to stop that. But if you're recycling lithium, that's going to change it completely. Comes in the U.S. Yep. Because uh, well, that little guy right down the road from where um, American Battery Tech is. Elon Musk. To be Elon <laughs> Musk. And a lot of those cars were sold right here. Yeah, he sells them globally, but nowhere more than the United States. And a lot of those batteries need to get recycled and not just those batteries. So tell us about who are the people that, that are getting you these batteries for recycling. Oh, so, that, so we, we would call that feedstock. So the batteries can come feedstock. from all sorts of areas. It can come from the cell phone. Mm -hmm. Right right now, there's people that take their cell phone, melt it down, just get the gold and silver out. It can come from other car manufacturers, their stuff. They just melt it down. We're not melting. I know you guys have broken ground in Fernley, is it? Is, am it's I in Fernley. Right? No, no, Fernley. It's Fernley, Fernley Nevada. 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 It's Fernley. <laughs> it is a great area. It's really nice people. Um, you know, you'd want to live there if you're 20 years old. You'd grow up and want to live there the rest of your life. It's a great little town in, in, in Nevada. So, And there's more going out there, too. Yeah. You know, I didn't tell you this, but we bought uh, 14 acres, 13.8 acres, right next to Tesla, mm -hmm. right at their guard gate, just for just for storage. So we just did that. We completed that a couple of weeks ago. Oh. So we're, yeah, these, these are all really good infrastructure things we're doing. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. speaking of infrastructure, the new bill, um, there's an awful lot in it, especially with uh, what they're talking about. I know it hasn't passed all the way yet. Yeah, but it's going but to. Get, yeah, uh, since we have agreement. Uh, that bipartisan agreement for $580 billion additional. That's on top of the 500 plus billion that they already had and hadn't spent yet from um, the COVID. Uh, this seems like focus for green energy is gonna be a big part of Biden's plan going forward. And a big points it right at us. The critical minerals. Um, uh, language, which goes into appropriations, which goes into defense budget. It says they have to buy these materials from a U.S. company and a green one, environment friendly one. That points them to our zip code. Yeah. Right. And hopefully some others, because you know, this, this is a huge market. It's a yeah. huge market. Well, I mean, again, down in Florida, you and I were talking about um, Mary Barra uh, over at GM saying, hey, we're just going to make nothing but um, lithium ion battery powered vehicles uh, in the very near future. Right. A lot quicker than a lot of people thought and everybody's moving that direction. Fast there as is can. not enough lithium unless you do recycling. Right, you have to. And then, but the other side, we have the stuff in the ground. We just won an award from the Department of uh, Energy with DuPont, mm -hmm. where we're gonna be extracting lithium out of clay deposits in an environmentally friendly green way. What that does, and people don't get it yet, it makes mining green. Mining valuations are really low because of what they're like. But if they were a green company, and they were actually doing stuff right, their valuations would be much better. Yeah. Because people would want them. People would want, because mining's horrible. Right, well, and. It, but it can be good. So. You also filed uh, since Florida for a full up list on the NASDAQ. Exciting Hasn't times. happened yet, yep. um, but here we are, beginning of August, and it's getting closer every day. Every day gets closer. We just need to do a couple more things, but it's, uh, we're just waiting to do the timing the right way. Whenever we tweet about it, whenever I talk about it on TV, people are always digging into American battery tech. They want to know, okay, so when do I buy and all that. Kind right, of, stuff. of course they do. I can't just say, yeah, go out and buy it right now, but I own it. I know a lot of my friends and relatives own it. 
because they believe in exactly what you've been talking about. You know, Ryan and your whole team uh, have just really done a marvelous job of educating people for what uh, really happens with uh, the process of recycling yeah. lithium. You know, you hit on a really good point there, actually. That's the biggest issue. We have to educate people because right now everybody's throwing this crap away. I bet you could talk to your, I bet most of your users have one of these just sitting in a drawer. Sure. They're throwing it away. Mm -hmm. Most of it goes in. $19 billion in our process was thrown into the dirt last year. Gone forever. Mm -hmm. Could have been, could have, you know, could have saved some countries. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the, the big point there too is, folks, that what Doug said at the very top was uh, only 1% of lithium is coming from America. But if we're recycling it, then, an, and this is part of Biden's plan as well, buy American. Uh, he's talking about buy America, buy American from an American company. And boy, recycling it's lithium up. is the way that's going to happen. Yeah, so, yeah it's, 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 we have a really good opportunity yep. and we're moving on it. I know. So make sure you check it out, folks. A-B-M-L. Um, and is that symbol going to change, Doug? When, when we get a NASDAQ, of course, it'll change at that point. But we'll let you all know. Okay. Your stock will be fine. <laughs> it'll just transfer over. <laughs> yeah. It's a fabulous company. Um, you've got to check it out and look online at some of the videos and so forth and see how they're doing it in China, how they call it recycling in China, and how Doug and a American Battery Tech is doing it here in America. It's the right way. Thanks, so thank you, Doug. Thanks, Joe. Great yeah, to be with it. you, yep. sir. Thank you.